Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at your very first JavaScript export from Figma using the plugin. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new and upcoming videos. So let's go right ahead and let's get going with the export. Uh, one of the first things that we're going to realize with this frame is that we have pretty much every shape and object that we're looking for. So we have an image, we have a background shape, we have some text elements. So this is pretty much uh, all we need to illustrate uh, a good JavaScript usage. So what I'm going to do right away is just export this. Let's switch this to JavaScript and let's hit the export button. Now taking a look at our files, uh, what I'm going to do first is load and then in essence take a look at the HTML and the JavaScript files included. So when we load our JavaScript file, you can see that it pretty much rendered exactly as our frame in Figma. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now there are a lot of little things that we could have done. We could have increased the size of this so that in essence it spanned the entire screen. Let's test it out. So you can see easily we were able to modify so that way the background spanned uh, beyond the visible area. So in essence, we got a direct export. So let's take a look at how this was rendered uh, in the actual code. Looking at our HTML file, you'll see that what we have is basic CSS uh, for some styles. Uh, we're including our font loader and also we're including the JavaScript file for the individual page. Now had we rendered multiple pages, each HTML file would include a separate JavaScript file. So let's take a look at the JavaScript. So you'll see that this is raw JavaScript and what it's doing is it's creating each individual element and adding it to its respective parent based on your design in Figma. So you'll see that quick and easily you're able to export a full native JavaScript project using ExportKit and Figma in a couple of seconds.